Hello, in this video we are going to learn how to use SSL certificate for your webhooks. To test, we have a flow here. We have HTTP in and HTTP out nodes. The function node just creates today's date as a return value to HTTP out. HTTP in listens from the local host. The robot is currently running in our remote Windows machine. As a, so it's running as a service here. So let's just start this flow and test it. So the flow started because we are listening from the local IP address. We can only test this flow here in the remote machine. Let's see if the flow is working. Yes, it returns the date here. To reach this uh, robot and the flow, we have to use a public IP address because the robot is running here. We can use the public IP address of this machine. Uh, so let's stop the flow and change the HTTP in not IP address here to the public IP address of the remote machine. And let's start the flow again. Now first, let's test it here on the machine and it seems it is working. Now let's try to reach it from our host machine. It doesn't seem to be working. If this is the case, it means uh, the firewall settings is not allowing us to the robot and the flow to change it. You can open the firewall application on Windows and create an inbound rule here and create a new rule. Select the port and we are going to use 9090 port here. Click next, next and give your rule a name. Um, click finish. Now we can test it from the remote machine and it seems it is working. So we can run this flow on a remote robot and we can reach our uh, webhook from a remote machine. Now we have to use an SSL certificate. For that we need two things. First, you need a domain. Um, I'm going to use a subdomain here. Uh, I set up a record on my DNS server, the webhook 2 dot robomotion.io is directing to this remote machine's IP address. You can, if you have a domain, you can use that domain and set your DNS record in your DNS server. Or if you have a domain, you can use a subdomain. It is easy to set up. You just give a subdomain name and then set your IP address and create a record. We can test our DNS record with ping command. You can just ping the subdomain or the domain you have. And if you see the IP address of your remote machine, it is ready to be used. The second thing you need is the SSL certificate itself. You can get an SSL certificate from different vendors. You just provide them your domain or subdomain or you, if you like you can uh, purchase a wildcard. Uh, we, we have a wildcard certificate uh, so we are going to use that. A certificate file looks like this. This is in PEM format. If you read this file and you see begin certificate here it is in PEM format. If you have uh, a certificate in different format, you can convert it to PAM format with OpenSSL command line tool or you can find some different tool to convert it. But uh, the robot needs to have a PAM formatted certificate and a private key file. So they are uh, here. Now we have a domain and we have the SSL certificates for the, those domains. Now we are going to 
install these certificates and set up our robot to do that you have to go to the Robomotion folder uh, at local app data under local app data Robomotion here we can create a folder here let's name it certificates and then copy your certificate files here the first one is the certificate itself dot crt file the second file is the private key the second thing you have to do is create a config dot properties file under this folder this file should have these entries inside core.net.httpin.ssl is the it has to be set to true and you have to provide the certificate files this this property uh, should have the certificate file this property should have the key file uh, we put these certificates in these folders now we are ready just save it the config properties file under this folder and now you have to restart your service let's stop and start the service and then we have to start the flow again let's stop and start now let's try to reach this from here because we used HTTP we get this error we have to use now HTTPS if you see this error because we did not use our domain name we just tried to reach this flow from the IP address we can use the domain name here now robomotion.io and when you press enter we now have a secure certificate set up and we can reach to our webhook from SSL if you don't want to use uh, this port then you can use the default HTTPS port from HTTP in just set uh, 443 here this is the default HTTPS port now try running this now we can remove this and it should work but we also have to create another rule in our firewall just create another rule again port next 443 next next and let's call this rule robo ssl and finish now we should be able to reach it yes it is now working without providing a different port number and https is now working for our web hook we set up an ssl so this is how uh, you can use your SSL certificates with your robots and flows. Thank you.